Welcome to Yoga for a Strong Healthy Back. Today's routine will incorporate exercises to stretch your low back as well as to gently strengthen it. Let's get started. So we're going to start on our backs today. So come on down and we'll bring the knees gently into the chest and just let the hands rest over the top of the knees. If you can't grab those, you can always put your hands on your hamstrings. And we'll just begin to circle the knees as if you were drawing circles on your ceiling with your two knees, if they had marker tips. And you'll notice as you're doing this, it's going to start to rock you around your low back. As you move your knees away, it'll tip you towards the tailbone. And then as you sweep them to the side, they'll roll you towards the side of the hip. And as the knees come towards the chest, you'll feel it come towards the low back, flattening to the floor. And let's just take that the other direction. While you're circling the knees, just keep breathing nice and deep. Noticing any areas of tightness or stiffness, not trying to push through those areas, but just starting to notice them. Relaxing your shoulders into the mat, your back muscles. And as we come around to the center, we'll pause this time. Now we're just gonna take the hands and peel the knees open towards the armpits. They're gonna go away from the armpits and come together. To the chest, open towards the armpits, then away and together. And one more. So just starting to loosen up the hips. And a lot of times we're gonna go the opposite way. A lot of times when the hips get tight, that can affect our low back. So we will be opening some areas around the hips today to also loosen our low back. Bringing that back to center, lower the feet down to the floor. I'm gonna put my arms out. You can place them wherever is comfortable. I just want you to be able to see that we're gonna to roll towards our tailbone and arch our back away from the mat and then scoop it the other way. And you can even squeeze your booty here a little bit and press the low spine into the floor. Breathing in, rolling to your tailbone, arching, and exhaling, moving the low back into the floor. And taking that one more time. So just starting to mobilize, call it juicing up the low back. We're getting the synovial fluid moving around. Let's take it one more time arching, rolling towards the tailbone. We're going to do all these movements, shy of any pain, and scooping under. Bring that back to neutral. Bring one knee then the other again to the chest. Now we're going to move our knees so that they're right over our hips and bring the toes up so you're like a tabletop, as if you were sitting in a chair on your back. Now we want to press our low back into the floor and you will probably start to feel your abdominals. If you don't, the knees are probably a little too close to the chest. So move them away. We'll bring the arms to the sides. You can press the palms down. Now, all we're going to do is touch our right toe towards the floor, keeping that low back on the mat. And you will probably start to feel your abdominals working. Then I'm going to take my left toe. I'm going to barely touch it and bring it up. And we'll repeat. Right toes touch, keeping that low back on the floor. Left toes touch. We're going to repeat that again. Right toes, keep breathing, and left toes. Whole back stays flat on the mat. Right toes, then left toes. We'll repeat two more times. Right toes, so strengthening our abdominals here. Left toes to help support our back. Right toes, and the left toes. We'll bring that up to center. Let the knees come into the chest, giving them a hug in, a rocking side to side here. And we'll lower the feet back to the mat. Press down with the feet. Now bringing the hands to the mat as well. Feel the whole foot on the floor. We're going to squeeze our rear end and start to drive our hips up into an easy bridge. This is a great position for strengthening our rear end muscles, our glutes, our low back muscles. Pushing through the feet. Squeeze the rear and you'd like the front of your hip bones, you can even put your fingers there like I am, to be driving up more than your ribs popping up. So if you need to, lower your rear end, tuck your tailbone and squeeze the rear end to drive them up. We release the arms, we lower that back down. We bring the knees into the chest. Sweep an arm to up over your head so you can roll to a side and we're gonna come up and move around into a tabletop position. So onto the hands and knees. Now we're going to take a similar motion that we just did on the floor in our tabletop position. 
So you may be familiar with cat and cow, which is this rounding of the back and then coming through and arching the opposite way. We're going to make a neutral and we're going to really focus on the lower part of the back and the pelvis. So see if you can tuck your tailbone under. Now notice I'm not rounding my ribs or tucking my chin in here. I'm just trying to move the lower spine in my hips and now my tailbone up and tuck the tailbone under and raise the tailbone up. It might be tricky at first, so just keep working with it. Maybe you need to do it in a mirror so you can see what's moving if you can't tell, if you can't feel it yet. But when we do the big cat and cat, a lot of times we miss this area in the pelvis and the hips and it becomes more about the area around the ribs and the upper back. Let's just take that one more time. Tailbone coming under and then tailbone raising up. When we start moving the hips, then we can start to loosen the pelvis, the whole pelvis, and start to loosen the hamstrings. These can all contribute to back pain and stiffness. Now go ahead and tuck the tailbone, and now go ahead and add the rest of the spine, push through the palms, tuck the chin in, and then inhale, tailbone up, chest reaches forward. Let's take that again. Start from the tailbone, Work through the low spine first, then the middle, then the upper. Now start with the low spine again. Tailbone up. Keep lifting your belly button to your spine so you're supported. And one more time, tuck your tailbone. You can squeeze your booty here. That will help bring that tailbone under. And once more, tailbone raising up. Reaching the chest forward. Bring that back to neutral. Shift the rear end to the heels. We come out to child pose and just take a rock side to side. Breathing here. We'll take our next inhale and come up to a tabletop. We'll take our right leg and we'll just sweep it back and around. Placing the right foot, you can just wiggle it in next to the right hand. Now we'll just move our hands forward a little and move our hips forward. And you might have to adjust your back leg back a little bit more, your front foot forward to come to a nice long lunge. Now as you get here, squeeze your rear end and you'll probably start to feel a stretch across the front of that left hip, that's the back leg's hip. Those guys can get really tight as well and start to cause the pelvis to shift position and bring pain to the low back. So we wanna open that up. Now we're just gonna push with the front foot and stick our rear end back and you might start to feel the back of the front leg stretching. And we'll take that again. Plant the front foot. Bring the hips forward, squeeze the booty. You can raise your chest up here. Now push back with that front foot. The leg may or may not straighten. You might have to walk your hands back and raise on your fingertips, that's fine. Go to what works for you. Bring the hips forward again, squeeze the booty. Now if you're okay there, you could put one hand up on the front thigh. If you're still okay, you could bring both hands up. Push with that front foot, engage your rear end. That's big deal. Squeeze the booty, that will start to trigger the muscles across the front of the hip to open and also align our pelvis so that we are safe for our low back. And as we exhale, we bring the hands down, we stick the rear end back, we sweep the front leg all the way back, shift the rear end to the heels and come back into child's pose. You may notice some differences from one hip to the other. Nice big breaths here. And we inhale back up to the tabletop, and we're gonna take the other leg. So left leg will sweep back and around. Begin to move the hips forward. You can adjust your front foot or your back leg back to come into the lunge. It's fine if this knee travels in front of the ankle. Squeeze the booty, raise the chest up, and then stick the rear end back and wiggle the hips back as you probably are feeling the front leg stretch and then coming forwards. Remember, engage the rear end. That may be tricky. If you're not sure, you can always stick your fingers back there and see if it's firmed up, and then stick the rear end back again. Let's take it one more time. Come forward, squeeze the booty. Now you can stay right here, position one. Position two, bring your left hand on your front thigh. Position three, you bring both hands up. Now you don't wanna come up and stick your rear end back. You'll start to miss out on the benefits here. So if you need to put your hand on the floor, go ahead and put it there, or both hands down. You'll still get the similar benefits. You can work up over time. Again, rear end engages and the chest is reaching forward and up, whatever position you're in. 
and then exhale, we bring the hands down, stick the rear end back, sweep that left leg around to meet the right, move the rear end to the heels, rock the hips side to side. Now we're gonna lean our hips to the left and walk our hands off to the right side. Now you will probably start to feel a stretch through the side. You can walk your hands around as much as possible for you and see if you can touch your left thumb to your right. Some of you may be able to put your left hand on top of your right and breathe in here. So we start to open the sides of the back, bring it back to center, shift the hips to the right, walk the hands to the left, to the edge of your mat if you're on one, or you can go a little further depending upon your body. Thumbs touch or right hand places on top of left. Nice big breaths, and as you exhale, trying to relax through those back muscles, let your head fall. Walk back to center. Bring yourself up to a tabletop, and then keep coming forwards. We're gonna engage our rear end, coming into a plank on our knees, and lowering yourself all the way down onto the mat. Now you lower yourself as fast or as slow. It works for you. Now this is going to be some variations of Superman or locust in yoga it's called, or cobras. So we're gonna start by placing one hand on top of the other and letting your forehead rest on your hands. Move your elbows out wide enough so your shoulders can relax. And then we'll walk the legs together here. Now you can reach your one leg back and try and get it a little longer and do the other. And then let's take that again. We're gonna squeeze our rear end and drive the front of the hips into the mat. So we don't want our booty starting to stick up like this. We're gonna drive the hips down, reach the right toes back and see if that leg can reach back and maybe float off the floor. It probably won't be a big movement, but you'll probably feel a lot of muscles working. And then lower it down. And then the other leg, right. reach it out straight and lower it down. Let's try that again. Right leg reaches back and up and lowers down. Left leg reaches back and up, lowers down. Now, if you're okay with that, squeeze the inner thighs together, squeeze the feet together, reach both legs back and up. Now, this is where you wanna lift your belly button to the spine and really squeeze that booty to drive those hips into the floor and we breathe here for four, for three. Keep engaging the front of your thighs to straighten those legs and exhale, lower that down. We'll pull with our hands and reach our chest forward and up. We'll drag our elbows in so they're under our shoulders and I'm gonna plant my palms and pull my hands like they were gonna slide back. That'll help to draw my shoulders back. And again here, we don't wanna just let our belly relax and drop our hips into the floor. Squeeze your booty, reach through your legs so you're engaging here. Lift your belly button to the spine as you pull with your hands and you'll probably feel a lot of work in the lower body. Now as we exhale, we lower down. We're gonna drag our hands back. Now you can repeat that or you can bring the hands next to the side of the chest, almost to the floating ribs. Now we're gonna use our hands again to pull back, firm up your lower body again as you pull with the hands to reach the chest forward and up. Now you'll have this when you feel your elbows drawing in and you're gonna feel your upper back working here. Notice I'm not just pushing down and shoving myself up. So we wanna, we don't need a big, big arch here. We wanna really firm up the thighs, squeeze the booty, keep those hips on the floor and exhale lower down. Now last one, we reach the arms back, bring the legs together, legs reach back and up chest reaches forward and up when we come into our superman position or you can repeat one of the previous positions if this one doesn't work for you and then we start to press our palms to the ceiling and breathe for five four three keep engaging that rear end and exhale lower down rock the hips side to side drag the hands back up to the sides of the body draw the belly button to the spine to support you as you go back to child's pose. Rocking the hips side to side. Keep on breathing here. 
Now on the next inhale, we'll drag the hands back towards the knees. We'll roll ourselves up, pick a side to lean to, lean off to that side, cross your left leg in front of your right, reach the left hand off to the left and the right arm up to the ceiling. And we'll take a nice side stretch here. Now, want to keep pulling so you can push your pinky toes into the floor and pull your feet towards you. So pulling towards your rear end. That'll help sit you up. And then use your hand on the floor to push away from that left side of the room and keep the right side of your rear end on the floor. Lift your belly and reach away. And this will give a nice stretch through that whole right side and you can round your ribs forward and open them up. Remember, we're lifting through our belly on every inhale and on every exhale, we let those shoulders fall and we come up to the top, we go the other way, right hand to the floor, left arm goes up and over. Use that right hand to help keep the left side of the rear end down. Lift your belly as you breathe in and exhale, draw your shoulders away from your ears. Come all the way up to the top. Exhale, let the arm fall. Give the shoulders a little circle. We'll turn. I'm going to turn. We're going to come back down onto our back. Cross our right leg over our left, right ankle over our left thigh. This ankle can be anywhere on the thigh that works for you. And bring the left knee into the chest. Hands here can go around the hamstring. So I'm going through the hole my leg is making and around or to the shin. Now you've probably done this stretch before. This is called a piriformis stretch or thread the needle. And what it does is it helps to open our rotators. What basically it'll feel like your booty is stretching. Those guys get tight and can squeeze up our low back. Now when we're gonna do it today though, we're gonna press this ankle that would be your right one into your thigh and gently try and squeeze your booty. So we're supporting this stretch and just take nice deep breaths here. Gentle pressure of the ankle into the side, thigh, gentle squeezing of the rear and on those exhale shoulders settle. Release the leg. Reach that right foot up. Give the ankle a circle. Lower it to the floor. Cross the other leg. Fold the right knee into the chest. Hand will go through to hamstring or shin. Gently hug to where you can. You can always use a belt or a towel behind your hamstring if you couldn't quite grab it. Now get a little active. Ankle presses into the thigh. Try and engage your rear end. That's going to help roll this thigh out. So instead of just shoving our knee, actually use the muscles to create the shape. Then the stretch is supported, it's active, you're going to get better results, it's safer, and the results last longer. Again, nice deep breaths, easy shoulders on the mat, ankle lightly pressing into thigh, rear end lightly engaging. Begin to release, extend that left leg up, lower it to the floor, flop the arms out, Take that rock we did at the beginning, roll to the tailbone, roll to the low back. Take that a couple of times, then pick a side to roll to, roll to your side, come up sideways, and you're ready to go on to the rest of your day. And if you're feeling like back pain or stiffness is keep you, keeping you from fully enjoying life, then I'd love to introduce you to something that'll help make you feel better than you have in years. Fit and Flexible for Life is a program I created of 10 minute a day routines that you'll actually do. It's for women in their 50s and 60s who are ready to get their strength, stamina, and balance back, even if you're not limber at all or if you have previous injuries. It has videos that'll fit into any lifestyle because they're only 10 minutes. Easy to follow routines that help reduce pain, a new you and 30 day plan, plus more. If you're interested in checking it out, head over to fitandflexibleforlife.com and I will include that link in the description below.